Welcome to Lightspeed Spanish. Now, you may notice that there is somebody else in the middle. We are three people today. Is that right, Cynthia? Three. Three, three people and a half. Just yeah. <laughs> Three and a half. And Sebastian and Douglas are downstairs. You might hear Douglas barking because he's stressed, because we're all up here. We're here, first of all, to introduce you to this gentleman here. And his name is? Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. And sometimes he gets a shortened version of that name. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the short version is Juan Carlos. Juan okay. Carlos. Okay. <laughs> but only in Spain. He doesn't get that in England. Juan Carlos con J. With, exactly. So maybe some of you already know uh, Juan Carlos from our Facebook group because Juan Carlos is one of the moderators, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And he greets people and throws people out if they're being very naughty as well. But we're here for one special um, subject and that is immersion courses. Okay. So what we're after really is this. We're, we're just going to have a chat and tell you what our plans are, but we want to know your opinion. We would like to start to offer immersion courses kind of under the banner of Lightspeed Spanish, but Juan Carlos will be the one who's organising it and, and, and arranging everything. But before we even go there, we want to know if you think that it would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. um, Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> I was turned to Cynthia. Cynthia, so um, yes. what were the two things that we were planning with the, the immersion courses? Two kinds of immersion course. Um, one is a one-to-one -one immersion and the other one is a group immersion. Okay, so how is the one-to-one -one going to work? Juan Carlos, what, 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 we were, what are we planning on a one-to-one -one basis? How would that work? Well, the idea is to, to have an immersion course and to, to be in the, in the uh, cultural uh, uh, world in, in Spain, doing absolutely everything. Mm -hmm. and, and this uh, to work not a lot of grammar, hmm? but to, to correct the grammar during the activities of the, the real life. This is, this is the, the idea, to, to live a, a, a real experience living uh, in, in, in Spain. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, um, what we've all, all of us have been on the immersion course. Uh, Juan Carlos has a, a, an immersion course I for English. Been. I, I have. Cynthia has been on an immersion course for 12 years. Yeah, in that's UK. true. <laughs> 12 years. Yeah. Okay. So one of the things that we, we thought was, was valuable it was to, as, as Juan Carlos has said, to live the culture, not just to go on an immersion course and sit for six hours a day doing grammar and chatting. But really what we wanted to do was to combine real life experiences with um, with kind of learning a, a certain subject. Let's say, right, today we're going to learn how to order in a bar and then go to the bar and do it. Or today we're going to learn how to um, order in a restaurant and then go to a restaurant. So that's the idea. It's the real life experience. Uh, Juan Carlos has got lots of ideas on, on how that would work. On the one-to-one, -one, it would be the person in Spain for from Monday to Friday to so the week, isn't it? A week, yeah. yeah and days. actually living in a Spanish house and having with with a Spanish teacher. This man, to me, yeah, living in in the house, living the Spanish life, experiencing the culture, and also having classes. So really, everything in Spanish. It's like total immersion. It's the best way, is it not? Yeah, the, the, the idea is to, to detect the, the, the mistakes you, you have during the, the real life and after that to, to have uh, uh, classes to correct that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because you are detecting different mistakes and then you, you, you can uh, correct the mistakes and to, to give the, the part of the grammar you need. Mm -hmm. But this is not the, 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 the idea is not to, to, ha uh, to give grammar. The idea is to, to give real life and, and to correct with grammar the, the mistakes. To practice, really, I suppose. Yeah, practice exactly. everything you yeah. know uh, yeah. and what you've learned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that the, the, uh, the way that you can get the best out of your learning process with, with immersion is not just learning it, but it's doing it. And sometimes, in my experience, I've learned more from actually doing it and sometimes making a mistake than I ever did by just reading a book or listening to what the teacher was saying. So that's the idea of the one-to-one of the -one immersion course, that, that it would be for the people who want to 
come over and spend a week. I mean, that your Spanish would improve incredibly by having one week on a one-to-one -one basis. So that's the first thing. We want to know what your, idea is, uh, your ideas are. Do you think that's something that would be of value? Do you think you might be interested in that? If you are, or if you think you would be, let us know by email. I'm going to let out, put our email in the comments. Mm -hmm. Let us know because then we can start putting plans in place. Obviously, if there's no interest, we don't, we don't want to invest our time in it. But we want to be able to offer you this extra resource. Then we've got the summer immersion courses, which are going to be bigger. Yes? Yeah. yeah. And that, that immersion course will involve all of us. It will involve Lightspeed Spanish and Juan Carlos. So Juan Carlos is going to be the principal organiser and doer of the, of the thing. Um, but that's main, going to be... The main organiser, the, no? The main. What did I say? principal organiser? Of course. Sounds very Spanish. Say anything I like. <laughs> you yeah. can say anything you like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Juan Carlos is going to be the main the main organiser, the principal organiser of that, but we're all going to be involved and that again is going to be a week, but it's going to be in group and that's going to be kind of um, classroom kind of feel, but with also with everything, with, with practice. excursions, mm -hmm. practice, imagine kind of learning how to buy things and then off to a market to buy them. These are the really practical experiences that you don't get in a classroom. Yeah, you will in a minute. Yeah, and you have to different activities mm, out of the class. Mm -hmm. After that, to uh, uh, to get the, the, the feedback about uh, the, the experience, uh, what uh, what uh, what was the problem, and, mm -hmm. and, and again to correct uh, and yeah, and, and, and to see uh, how how was the, the, the experience. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The, the sometimes I, I I found that learning happens retrospectively. So you go and do something, right? It it works out really badly. You say it completely wrong. But then if you can review and say, hey, I was in this situation, what should I have said? And then Juan Carlos is there saying, well, actually, well, this is the best way of saying it, or you could have said this. Yeah. So, the, so that, that immersion course is going to be completely practical. Some classroom, of course, with lots of role plays and stuff like that, and then the real life. But only if you think that it's worthwhile doing. This and, is well, and to live with, uh, with, uh, with host family, that is a very important issue because... Uh, you can practice a, a normal uh, conversation out of the of the of the um, academic uh, course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can practice with the family and to talk yes. about absolutely anything. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so the, the and idea is Spanish the, uh, food as well. And Spanish, food. of course. Yeah, everything everything Spanish from from getting up to going to bed. What we're aiming to do is is one of two things: to offer people, if if we can, a house in which they stay with the Spanish family and they have the meals there. Um, and they sleep there. Or, for those who don't want to do that, some lodgings. But still, lodgings where only people speak Spanish, everything happens in Spanish, okay? So we're, we're going to try and work on that as well. Again, these are all plans, out, things that we want to do, but we, we haven't done anything yet, except talk about it, until we know your opinion, okay? The dog is extremely agitated. Okay, any other comments? Uh... No, I, don't, I think we've covered everything. No, mm -hmm. I think it's okay. Yeah? Okay, so please, give us, your, give us your feedback. If you think it's going to be worthwhile us putting the effort in to do this, let us know. Um, it's something that I, I personally have always wanted to be able to offer through Lightspeed Spanish is an immersion course. I've tried with various um, academies and they were a bit reluctant. I think they were all a bit worried about, you know, in case we infiltrate their students and things like that. Well, we've had immersion courses in our house. Yeah, we've in the done past. We've had people yeah. coming in and we've taken them places and like yeah. Toledo and they've ordered stuff. And yeah, we've had some fantastic experiences so with our, with our local our students. House. Yeah, and it's been great. Yeah. But now, because obviously Lightspeed Spanish is a lot bigger, we've got a lot more people who, who are interested in learning Spanish now. We'd like to offer something a little bit more formal. So, let us know. And now you've had a chance to meet Juan Carlos. And you'll see him a little bit more in the following videos. Okay, thank you very much. Hasta luego. Adios. Hasta luego.